begin by uh, finding the OES login on the computer screen. Um, for this, you'll want to type in your 5 and 3 username, and the password should be your initials followed by your lunch code. The loading screen will pop up like that and then go away. We're then looking for the Kodu Game Lab icon. It's a little green guy. Double click on that and you can open that up. And it may take a minute to load. There we go. So the loading screen will have Kodu on it. And sometimes there's a video that will pop up and play. And if that happens, you can press the escape key on the keyboard to get you to this screen. Once here, we want to click New World. And once we're in the New World, um, you start with a blank piece of land. If I click the hand tool down below, it allows me to left click out in the middle area and I can drag that. Scroll wheel zooms in and out and right click allows me to orbit. Over to the right, I've got this paintbrush tool and I'm going to click the four squares above it. And with that, I should be able to select different types of land. So I can scroll through there and find a different one that I like. Click on it to select it. Or I can press enter on the keyboard. And when I left click out there, it starts painting the land with that setup. Now left click adds land. And we'll change the color of it if you choose a different one. Where the right click of the mouse will actually remove land. So first we're going to even this out here, kind of. <laughs> right click removes sections of land. Next tool is the hill tool, it's just to the right of that. If I left click out there, it's going to allow me to build the land up, kind of like making mountains or hills. I can right click again with the hand tool and I can orbit down and get a better view of what I'm looking at. Uh, a couple to the right of that is the jagged one, roughen. So if I click that, it kind of makes the stalactites or stalagmites and uh, have those coming up out of there. Water is in here and I can choose different colors make it look like lava or some dark water or something lighter and once I select that I can left click out there and it will start filling it if I hold the mouse down it fills it up more if I right click it removes water and if I click on a higher point it will automatically fill to that point it's not quite like Minecraft where you place water and it flows on this one it just fills to that point all right, the object tool is the little face at the bottom. I click on that and it gives me options to add a character. So I choose Kodu. I want to right click on Kodu and press program. And in here it's under a when do setup. So when something happens, I want it to do this. So I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to do keyboard and the plus sign after that. And I'm going to choose arrows. Some people like WASD. And then under do, I'm going to tell it to move. So now when they press the arrows on the keyboard, it should move. Select the play button. And using the arrows, my character is now moving around under my control. You can test it out and kind of see, see how your character does.
and it moves pretty well the camera changes with it all right I'm going to go ahead and go back into the object tool and I can right click on it and go to program and this time I'm going to hit wind bumped and then I'm going to choose objects and apple and then under do I'm going to say eat it so when I bump into an apple I'm going to eat it but now I have to add an apple I'm going to add a few apples here and now I can hit escape on the keyboard and it tests it so there's one I just bumped into it and I ate it camera view kind of turns on you here so you got to be careful with that but he's just moving around eating the apples if I go back into the programming I'm gonna go to do and I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna change it to first person follow is where it follows right behind it so I can zoom in on my setting here there we go so this is still third person one of the other options is first person and if I add another character I'm going to go to the programming by right clicking on the character and then programming and I'm going to tell it when it sees Kodu we want it to do and move toward it so now we're creating a second character a computer controlled character that is just going to follow Kodu around now in your game you can make it where this person maybe shoots at you or helps you find stuff or helps you pick stuff up so you can you can have that character be a bad guy or a good guy that helps you out it's kind of your choice as you're making the game in the same sense you can also create characters that are like other racers